Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for July 9th through the 15th, okay? But this is for whenever it resonates. The timing is fluid, okay? And this is a love reading, so if you're looking for money, then this reading probably isn't for you because I focus on love. It's just the way my readings turn out to be. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Look at that. Is it a freaking mess or what? And one, look what fell over. Okay. We'll go with these. Ties have been severed. Ties have been severed. No longer needing to prove. I don't need to prove myself to you. I'm happy. Happy. I'm not going to say anything about this card until I get some more. I have made the decision. I have. The decision has been made. I'm just looking for happiness. I'm not, I'm not, nothing is standing in my way at this time. I'm going for it. Going for it. Back to my innocence. I see. I see it clearly now. I have the clarification that I need. And the decision has been made to love again. Aha! Yes, it has. I have no fight left. No fight left. There's no reason to fight. I don't need to fight for something that has no promise. I don't need to fight for something that doesn't want me. If, you, if you're not going to, if all you want to do is fight and your ego is so big, I don't need to be a part of it because that Five of Swords is an ego card, upright. Remember in one of the daily readings I did a few days ago, the Five of Swords, there was a guy standing up with a girl on the ground. You know, she was on the ground like begging for mercy. No more. Now it's reversed. No more. No mercy. Your advice is to, is to remain confident. Don't let yourself stay stuck if you have. This is lack of confidence, lack of courage, lack of willpower, indecision. Take two paths. I feel like, I mean, if you look up this lineup, I think that this is over with. This indecision, the decision has been made right here. There has been a time of indecision. Somebody was hanging on to the past. I was trying to change this reading. I don't want to bring up the past, but the past is still here. Somebody has been hanging on to the past, and now they've let go of the past. That's what it looks like to me. But you may have feel a little um, less than confident about finding happiness in the future. Maybe you're feeling like, you know what? Yeah, I release, but I'm afraid. What if what if I don't find my wish fulfillment? What if I don't find my happiness? But I feel like you are going to find your happiness. You are headed towards something solid, stable, and secure, and abundant. You know, you may be feeling like, you know, you're going to be alone forever, but I don't think you are. I don't think you are. I think that you aren't going to be independent for very long. If you're single, it probably won't be for very long. And some of you are unhappy with this being single, okay? Feeling uh, sadness, you know, discouragement. Yeah, I've let go. I, you know, I do. I, I have let go. I understand that this, this had to end. It wasn't happiness for me. But, you know, I, feel, I still feel a bit of skepticism here. Skeptical that you will find your happiness. But you will. You will find your happiness. Um, I'm going to get this zoomed in before I go any further.
if you have not received the clarity that you know you should have by now it's coming that queen of swords is seeing a situation clearly um, doing what's right for her it's an independent woman you may be loving your independence at this time okay feeling very abundant with who you are that's what it looks like I, I feel good I feel really good I don't I like this independence I love it you love your independence you do you do you might not be independent for long Yeah, it looks like something is coming right together, right together. It looks like, you know, you might have some, you might have to make some compromises in regards to your independence, you know. There could be uh, uh, something that you've been waiting for coming right into your life. And you're, you might have to uh, be able to, to blend blend it together you know your your I'm just trying to think of the words my mind has gone blank it's it's the uh, the independence that you so love with a new partnership because I feel like there's a new partnership coming in I feel it's something that you have you've called in okay because this is this is a card of alchemy okay so this is like it's, it's something that you have, you know, you've done a lot of healing work. You've worked on yourself. You've evolved. You're not the same person. You've proven that you're ready, you know, that kind of thing. So, therefore, when you get to that point, when you've had that healing period, you've taken that time to evolve and, and manifest and find out who you really are. You've done that work. It's like all of a sudden this new opportunity comes in that is very abundant, something that you can't pass up. Even though you're enjoying your independence and you're doing very well, this this comes in, okay? So that's what it looks like. Yeah, you're going to have to make some compromises in your life, you know, and you may feel like... <sighs> this isn't the right time. Maybe you feel like this isn't the right time. Maybe you feel like you haven't done all the work that you need to do. Maybe you feel like you can't blend right now. You can't work together as a team. But I feel as though yeah, that's the doubt that I see right here. You probably doubt that you that this is real or, you know, this is just, this isn't, this isn't the right time. This, I, I'm not ready. You know, you may feel, you may feel like, you know, and I see that, this is back and forth, and this can signify back and forth as well. You're back and forth. I'm ready. I'm not ready. I'm ready. I'm not ready. I'm ready. I'm not ready. I like my independence. I don't like my independence. You know, that kind of thing. I feel like this. So this wheel is like going. What do you want? 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 You know, but I think that at this time, your decision has been made. You're not holding on to the past anymore. But right now, you may be enjoying your independence. You may be working on yourself. You're probably still healing. You're still healing. Maybe you've done more work than you know. Maybe you've healed farther than you think you have. I don't know what's going on here, but there's periods of, there's ups and downs here, and that's what I see. There's ups and downs, and it feels as though there's an opportunity to work together with somebody. I think this comes into your life very unexpectedly. It might shake up your independence and ask you to make some serious compromises. You may um, need to cooperate with another person in, in which you thought, you know what, you probably thought you were going to be independent for quite some time or you were going to be working alone for a long time, you know. You weren't really thinking that you were going to have to work together with another person. But I feel like you, you have probably taken a rest, a long rest, or you're taking a rest right now and that rest is serving you more than you know. Okay, it is. Because while you're going through this period of rest, you're thinking and you're manifesting. And that's what's happening. You're growing. You're evolving during this period of, of rest. You may feel like things are stalled and stopped and going nowhere, but they are going somewhere. They are going behind the scenes. Things are going somewhere. Right now, um, you may be trying to control Okay, because this is trying to con control destiny. You know, yeah, you know, you may be thinking, you know what, I, I, I really want things done my way. But the fact of the matter is, is that things don't always happen your way. 
you know, if what is meant to be is meant to be when it's meant to be. So I think that's a message that somebody needs to hear. There could be a period, there, there could be or there has been a period of, of rest that is serving you more than you know. Okay, it's, it's, it's uh, causing you to evolve into a whole new person. Yeah, something's happening quickly. And it may be uncomfortable. And you may be trying to control it. And it's out of your control. It's, it's nothing you can control. When the Wheel of Fortune comes out, whether it's upright or reverse, whatever is meant to be is, can, is to be. And you can't control it. You can't control it. So I feel like there's an opportunity that's coming in. And it's coming in very quickly. Now, you could be receiving a message from somebody or messages or texts or emails or whatever it is and they're they're just flying in at you and you're like I don't even know what to do I don't know what to do about this because I kind of I like the way things are right now I really do I like it the way it is and you don't want to be taken advantage of but you're being called to take a risk you know if you don't think of the baby bird Think of that baby bird sitting up there on that branch. He's been sitting there for weeks, weeks. And his mother's saying, fly, 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 chirp, 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 chirp. And, that, and then finally the mother just goes and pushes him off. He has to fly. It's time to fly. How long are you going to sit on that branch for? It is. It's time to take a risk. There's, it's time, it, there's a new beginning here. This is a, this is a fresh start. So you have an opportunity for a fresh new start this week if you're able to take a risk to fly, let yourself fly, even if it's scary. I think you guys are trying to keep things under control. You've been hurt really bad by somebody who left you on your knees, brought you to your knees. Remember in the, that deck I was talking about? Somebody brought you to your knees. This is the past. And your challenge is rising again. And having a, a new beginning, a fresh start. I feel like you are going, and this is a card of communication, this is a card of communication, this is a card of communication. There's some communication coming in very, very quickly that you may not be ready for. This fell out. Ace of Wands. This is a, a lack of growth, a lack of fertility, a lack of passion, a lack of excitement. We're going to put it over here in the past. Land it over there. I think that's that's probably in the past. Let's hope and pray. We're going to, this next card is going over in the future. Unrealistic. Something is unrealistic. Something is dissatisfying. It's like you've wasted your time. Maybe you feel like you're wasting your time. There's a loss of will here. A loss of direction. Maybe you need to focus on, maybe that's what you're doing. Maybe you're focusing on your job, your work, your, your career at this time, focusing on your money, work, focusing on getting back to your own element. You could also be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. We have cancer here. We have Leo a couple times. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel as though there's an opportunity for, for a fresh new start with someone, but you may be rejecting it. I think that's what it is. I think that you are rejecting a fresh new start from someone because you feel like the time isn't right. I, I'm just not ready. I'm just not ready for this. But 
it feels as though you are you have stood back up and you've done a lot of healing and you have made a decision to move on from the past. You've made the decision to move on from the past. That's what it looks like. You see the situation clearly in regards to the past. You got it. I hear you. I feel you. That was dissatisfying. It was unrealistic. You're working on your career. You're working on your money. You're working on your independence. I mean, you're, well, yeah, obviously I said independence. I meant to say, I meant to say abundance, but independence came out. So that's a reason for that. You're liking your independence quite a bit. But then again, remember I said we're going back and forth here, back and forth. I like it, but I don't. I like it, but I don't. And therefore, you know, with that temperance card, your, your thoughts do become things. You're evolving. It's like you're going through an inner transformation right now on the inside. You're becoming a new person. Not You're not even resembling the person you were a year ago. Maybe you feel like you can't invest in a new relationship right now, even though it would be nice. Yeah, it would be. It would be nice. There's an opportunity for a major new beginning here. One chapter of your life has ended, which we already know. Okay, it has. And now there's there's an opportunity for a new a new road. A new road is is opening up right in front of you. We have a we have a new phase, a new chapter, long term that is about to start. But you have to you have to step over the finish line, okay? You have learned something really big with this last whatever it was that you were in that died, where the where the where the passion died, the spark died. You've learned a lot there. You you were de you felt defeated or you were defeated, but that doesn't mean that you don't ever fly again. So there is there's a this is a, I mean here we have the first card in the deck a zero. With, with the 21, here we have the world card, okay? So we have the first card and the last card. You are starting a brand new journey as we speak. But it's out of your control, so stop trying to control it. What is meant to be is meant to be. If somebody comes into your life... And you're not ready, but it's meant to be. It's meant to be. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where that message is coming from, but it is for somebody. I don't know who it's for. Yeah. You may not want romance right now. You may be feeling like this is too good to be true. I don't believe you. I don't believe that this is true. You may feel like this person is all talk and... I don't, I don't, I don't believe. I just don't believe. Maybe you don't have faith in romance or love at this time. You have your guard up still. Whew. Oh my goodness. Oh, jeez, I'm crow. So we have this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you may feel, you could be dealing with this person now, or they could be coming into your life in the future that... Does it have good intentions? This person is emotionally withdrawn, or this could be you taking on this energy. Maybe you're emotionally withdrawn at this time, or you're detached. You're not. You're just not feeling it. Maybe this isn't really a week of accepting love, even though I think you're going to be receiving messages of love. I do. I feel like you're going to be receiving messages, texts, or calls, or or whatever, that seem a little too good to be true. You probably feel like this person is all talk. That they they can't honor anything that they say. Maybe you've had a previous experience with somebody like that before. I feel like you're afraid to invest in romance at this time. You are. I think that you're really liking your independence. You're loving your independence. That's what I see. You're working on your career. You're working on your home. You're working on your finances. You're working on your abundance. I feel like you have ended one cycle of, of, of your life that was very... Um, 
Oh, what is the word for it? Hard to go through. I can think all I can see is that woman on the ground with her, you know, begging for mercy. You know, it's just I think that 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 has really taken a toll on you. So I feel like right now you're not able to be passionate about a new beginning, but there's a new beginning here if you could accept it. I feel like you lack confidence, you lack self-esteem, you lack energy. I mean, there's there's like I don't have any energy to put into this right now, okay? I don't I don't have any energy because I'm I'm not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it even though I'd like to feel it because I feel like you'd like to feel it, you know, and you'd like the attention, but this it's just not the right time. What is this? There is a new beginning here though. There's a cycle that has completed. It has completed. That world card is a completion. You are you are starting a new journey. There's no doubt about it. Because something is over. We know that. This this betrayal that you have been through, this this defeat is over. It's over. It's done. The work the storm is over, Taurus. It's over. I see that you have made the decision. You have made the decision to move on. The universe sees that you have the universe is the world card has sees that you have made the decision to complete this cycle. You have. You've told the universe that it's over. But now all you have to do is fly. Take risks. Have faith. You're not, you're not using all of your resources at this time. It's like you're still being manipulated in some way. You're, you're deceiving yourself by trying to not go with the flow, not let destiny play out. Whatever it was meant to be will be. I know that we like to control. We all like to control with that the wheel of fortune below reversed. Okay, somebody's clinging to control, wanting to control their future. You know, free will plays a part, right? We hear it all the time. Oh, free will plays a part. Yeah, but you also, I believe, made a script. You made a script before you came down before you came down to, to earth, I believe. That's my belief. It isn't everybody else's. But I believe that you made a plan. You know, the written script, as, as mentioned in the High Priestess card, you made a script before you came down that is now out of your control. Yes, free will plays a part, but you can only control it to so much extent. If you have a karmic debt or a karmic whatever that needs to be paid off with another person you can't stop it from happening especially if you agreed to deal with it in this lifetime so i feel like you know you guys are trying to control again i mean with the wheel of fortune and the magician reverse somebody is trying to control their destiny in which you can't you can't you can't okay another universe card this is a fated event good or bad it's a blessing in disguise so i believe that there is an opportunity that is coming into your life this week that is out of your control that changes your life it is and you might be like oh my god this is unbelievable i don't even know i can't even accept this at this time you know but you want to but you can't it's interesting it really is i feel like there is a faded and destined event in which may cause you to retreat okay with that four of swords you may feel like you just need to retreat and take a step back because this is this is overwhelming so i do feel like there is going to be an overwhelming amount of um contemplation okay okay so you know we have this you know this card is kind of like a death card and the Four of Swords to me is kind of like a death card. And so I feel as though there is some sort of ending here 
which we know there is with the world card and the fool card. There's been an ending. There's an ending here that happened to bring you something better. But I feel like you guys are still stuck in a deceptive situation. You're deceiving yourselves because your self-esteem still isn't where it needs to be. Your self-worth isn't where it needs to be. You know, you're not feeling like you can even offer much of anything at this time. Son of a gun. I'm probably going to do this one over. You need, to just, you need to do what's right for you. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to be firm. You need to be solid in your decisions. You made the decision, right? It's a solid decision, right? So why look back? Why let it hold you back? Why have these power struggles? Why go back and forth? It's not a back and forth here. Stop going back and forth. Stop. You're only deceiving yourself. You're, you're, you're prolonging your victory and success. With the Magician card and the Chariot card, both reversed, there's an opportunity for victory and success, especially with the World card, for to start a new chapter, blah, blah, blah. But you're prolonging it by with these power struggles back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's causing burdens. You're, you're, you're still holding on to that baggage. Drop it, drop it, drop it. You made the decision. Why are you still holding on to it? Now I, I shuffled the cards a little bit. We now we have the tower reversed. Fear of sacrifice, fear of breakdown, fear of disaster. I'm afraid to let you in because what if what just happened happens again? And that's what this reading is about. We're gonna get some oracle cards. I feel like this is a week where you receive some sort of communication from somebody in regards to a new beginning. Somebody may be interested. You're liking your independence. You're doing very well. You've made a decision to let go of the past, but you're still back and forth a little bit, even though you've made the decision. You know that you can't go back. You know. Okay, you do. You know. It's like, you know, I know that I can't go back. I know. I know. It's not meant for me. I know it. And I see that you know that. I know it. I know it. I know it. But it's hard to let go. It's hard to let go of. So it's, that's where the power struggles lie. It's, it's the mind over heart. You know that that last situation was toxic. You can't go back. You can't go back. You've already made it. You know it. You know it. You told the universe you know it. But the feelings are still there. The memories are still there. It's holding you back. So there's an opportunity for a new beginning here for those of you that accept it. Some of you will not because you fear sacrifice, you fear upheaval, you fear disaster. But the fact of the matter is that is unrealistic. Go back to your innocence. Allow yourself to love again. The, pa the past ended for a reason. It ended for a reason. There was no more passion there. There was no more spark. They, this person brought you to your knees. You're still letting those memories hold you back? No more. It was a blessing in disguise. Chalk it up to that. Oh my gosh. We're going to zoom it in in a minute. That's perfect. Perfect. This is exactly, it's about the patterns. It says, look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. This is a pattern. It absolutely is. When you make a decision to let go, stand, stay with it. Keep it. When it's over, it's over. Look at your pattern in relationships. You want something different this time, right? And I feel like 
whoever this person is that that's that's messaging you is probably similar in some way to whoever it was there's a similarity there okay there is I can see that there is so I feel that's that's kind of scary for you you're I think you're feeling overwhelmed with this new offer this new communication I mean I do I feel like you're really overwhelmed because it seems to be a little bit too good to be true unrealistic this seems too unrealistic I got hurt so bad in the last in the past that I'm, a, I'm really afraid Woo! free yourself it's time to take back control of your life free yourself from these thoughts of the past that that's gonna happen again don't don't keep that please let it go Free yourself. It's just because it happened. Like I said, very at the beginning, go back to your innocence. Free yourself from those memories of the past, the bad memories, and remember what it was like before you were hurt, before you were brought to your knees. Remember, remember that. And take a risk. Give somebody a chance. I think there's an opportunity here for a new beginning with the world card and the fool card. For a fresh new start. If you could not let the old you, your old ways, the old bad memories, the old heartache, the heartbreak, hinder your progress. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. There's an opportunity here. I know that there is. So Taurus, I feel as though this is a week of you going back and forth. I think that you do receive some sort of communication or um, opportunity for a new beginning in which it's a little overwhelming it's a little overwhelming because there's similarities you there's feelings from the past that are haunting you it's haunting you from from letting this start okay and you're being called to, to free yourself and, and, and you can don't try to control it just go with the flow you're being offered a new beginning, seriously, with the world card and the fool card, something that in which you are being asked to take a risk, take a risk, take a risk. It could lead to something really good and long term with the ten of pentacles and the world card. It could lead to something solid, stable, abundant, and, and long term. Could be with any sign. So all of you say, well, with who, with who, with who? Could be with any sign. We do have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio connected to Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aries here a couple times. We have Scorpio here. Um, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here a couple times. We Anybody. We have Leo here. It could be anybody. doesn't really matter. All I know is that there are romantic feelings. There are, there are messages coming in for some of you in which you're scared of. And you're being called to take a risk. So when you receive that message, before you reject, think about it. Think about it. Or messages. 